Well, hello everybody. I'm going to shoot a video explaining how electric drum brakes work, specifically related to trailers. I'm showing the drum here first because I'm going to be speaking about this and I wanted you to see in advance what I was speaking of. This right here, this surface of the drum is where your brake linings, this does the braking. This area right here that you can see that is clean and shiny is where the magnet runs to actuate the actual brakes themselves. The main prerequisite in using electric trailer brakes is that you have a tow vehicle equipped with a brake controller. It may be an aftermarket controller like I have or it may be one that's integrated into the vehicle itself. But either way, that is the first requirement. You also need to make sure that that brake wire actually runs out into the connector for the trailer itself so it will energize these brakes. Now the controller itself, typically they have two adjustments on them. The first one is a delay. So when you hit the brake pedal on the truck, there will be a time delay before these brakes actually start engaging. And you can adjust that. The second one would be the intensity or the gain. How much power is being applied to this magnet will have a direct relationship on how active the brakes actually become. So the magnets are actually wired with a positive and a negative or a power and a ground, however you want to describe that. There is no polarity on these, it's just a magnetic electromagnet. So you can hook these wires up any direction, it doesn't matter. Now these are ran in parallel, so they're not wired up in a series. If you had them in series and one failed or you broke a wire, you may lose all of them or at least from the break down the chain. So they are wired in parallel. So when you apply power to the tow vehicle via the pedal to stop the truck, it's going to energize this magnet. This magnet is very close and actually is rubbing around the inside of that drum that I showed. When the power is applied, depending on how much gain is, is how much voltage will be applied to this magnet and how sticky it becomes, so to speak. Now if you're traveling forward, it is going to energize this magnet and start pulling this brake lever towards the rear and it in essence pushes this front shoe out. And when, if you're traveling in reverse, they still work in reverse, it will go the other way and push the rear shoe out. Now on the brake shoes, there are a short shoe and a long shoe. The short shoe is always in the front. The reason there's a short shoe and a long shoe is when you apply braking force to this front shoe, it transmits that power into the back shoe, and the back shoe does the majority of the braking. So the reason they are different lengths like this is to equalize the pressure on the drum. If this had a really long shoe on it, and this had a really long shoe on it, they would not be working as effective as they could if they were balanced out like this. The basic components inside here are some hold downs to hold the shoes on, some return springs. This little lever right here is what pushes the shoes back and forth. But all in all, that's a general rundown on how trailer brakes work, electric variety. Hope this helps in some way. Thanks for watching, and good luck.